Anyway, last one. Um, I guess Bill Burr won't be on a show anytime soon. Okay, cool. This is an interesting one because it seems like Brendan's trying to get edgier to make content, to make viral clips and stuff. But it's also a weird tactic because Bill Burr will destroy him, isn't it? It's like, what are you doing? So I guess they're commentating on Bill Burr's wife, Nia, the lovely, lovely Nia, the legend that is Nia, um, giving Trump the bird. All right, double finger salute. Not that big of a deal. It is what it is. Get over it. You know, he, she did it. It is what it is. Fun little moment. Keep, keep it moving. But I guess Brendan is using the opportunity to flex of flex on how much of an alpha male he is because he would never let his wife do that, right? Um, but again, his wife is barely there. Similar to that with Riley and Yuri, right? Yuri's, you know, Yuri's girlfriend, Riley. Brendan's wife is barely there, you know? And she doesn't, you know, she doesn't seem like the smartest cookie ever. So most likely she probably wouldn't even recognize Trump if she saw him. And if she did, she'll probably contemplate, con compliment his hair or something. You know what I mean? She'd have no idea of how to react in the real occasion if that happened. So I don't really think there's any danger of that. And they don't leave their house anyway. So, you know, no problem there. But let's play Brendan's response. Yeah, he's all against so it they now. Got to yeah. him. Did you guys see Bill Burr's wife flick off Trump? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. We would get home. If that was my wife, we'd get home. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Left, yes. you're going to flip the camera off? Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, are that's you Eminem? <laughs> His level of humor is so odd, isn't it? Even when he's trying to roast and get edgy, it's just so shit. Oh, you Eminem. Is that the best you can come up with, bro? Really? <laughs> you're saying it's I, not I, I mean, I, I, I did for a while. I played it. I played him. <laughs> but, I know, video. but not yeah, not anymore. Not now, right? Um, your, yeah. My wife was like, ah. I'm like, all right. Well, I, I can't don't know, man. Anymore. Sometimes like, like, oh, this guy I don't like. I don't like his politics. I don't like what hey, he's about. Hey, hey. Yeah. But but, <laughs> but mean, to do it behind his back? Yeah, well, I mean, well, if, if you're going to do it. It's a woman, though. If you're going to do it. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> behind his back. He, he's walking. What are you supposed to do? Walk up to him and tap him on his shoulder? Exactly. Hey, fuck you. I mean. You can do it as he. Or because he passed her. You're saying it was a cow. Howard's middle thing. Fuck yeah. That's some bitch shit. Either I, I don't guy, know. I don't girl, care. it's weak I, as fuck. I, I, yeah. yeah. That's some bitch shit. You're calling Bill Burr's wife a bitch. Interesting tactic. Interesting approach to content over everything, isn't it? Fucking hell, Brendan, man. When when Rogan says he needs a handler, this is what he's talking about. When Brent when Joe Rogan said Brendan Schaub needs a handler, that was the perfect way to describe him. He does need a handler. Because what are you doing? Because that's the thing. In a weird way, he's not really talking about Nia. In a weird way, he's basically trying to say he likes Trump. But Brendan's such a pussy and has no moral conviction, has no spine, has no anything really. He's afraid to actually say he likes Trump or that he's Republican. He doesn't want to say it. So he tries to say it in like these like dog whistly ways with his new haircut, with the moustache, trying to pretend like he's into country music, driving the pickup trucks, and obviously latching onto the story of Nia flicking off, you know, Trump, which is obviously a bit late now. It's a bit old of a story. But he tries to speak about it because in a way, it's like him trying to say, I like Trump. Instead of just coming out and saying you like Trump, which is no issue, but he's so scared. Like, he kind of wants to be cancelled. But he doesn't really want to be cancelled because he knows he couldn't survive a Brian Callan cancelling. He couldn't survive it. He probably doesn't have the fans to do so. And he's not well liked enough. He definitely couldn't survive the Chris Alia cancelling. But he wants to be cancelled because he likes the media attention it gets you, right? Because when you get cancelled, it brings you into regular media, sh mainstream media, news cycles and shit. So he loves that. But he doesn't really want to go through the scrutiny or the uncertainty it brings to your future. And obviously he's got, again, we already see it. He's got, uh, he's got a wife with expensive taste. She's been used to that level of a lifestyle for a long time. He's got kids in private school. He's got a lot to lose, but he obviously still wants to put out his hot take, but he's too scared to actually say what he actually means. So you get these kind of lily livered limp kind of like, you know, non-committal kind of stances that don't really say much, you know, really strange. But calling Bill Burr's wife a bitch, sorry, um, bitch is a bit, it's a bit strong. And I love how Ryan Long set him up there, right? So you're saying yes, um, he didn't want to get involved because, you, you know, come on. All right. Well, I, I can't don't know, man. Anymore. Sometimes like, oh, this guy I don't like. I don't like his politics. I don't like what hey. he's about. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but mean, to do it behind his back? Yeah, well, I mean, 
Well, if, if you're gonna do it, it's a woman. Though. If you're gonna do it, what are you supposed to do? Behind his back, he, he's walking. What are you supposed to do? Walk up to him and tap him on his shoulder. Hey, fuck you. I mean, you can do it as he. Yeah, or because he passed her. You're saying it was a coward's middle thing. Fuck yeah, <laughs> some bitch shit. I, I don't know. Guy, I don't girl, care. It's weak I, as fuck. I, fuck yeah, <laughs> that's some bitch shit. I wonder if they've had an interaction before. I wonder if this is coming from a place. I wonder if Brendan and the lovely Nia have had like a bit of a tete tete -tet behind the scenes, which is why he's going so hard on this because it's such a non-topic. You could either rib on it because Nia looked funny because she's that kind of bending way of doing that. You can rib on it. You can maybe even kind of rib on the fact that Burr had to suffer people trying to cancel him because his wife did something naughty at a live show. You can, but you can't, it's not nothing to really get that riled up about really, unless you're like a, again, you're like a, you're on that conservative grift thing, right? Because a lot of people were like, oh, Bill Burr is, an, is a beta male. He's not in charge of his household. She wears the pants, drawing green lines on their pictures and shit. If you're really in that kind of right wing grift, I get it, but it's not nothing to get that really annoyed about. So I wonder if there's actually some history between Brendan and Nia. Maybe, you never know. Maybe Nia, maybe Brendan asks Nia for a drug walk. She told him to kick rocks. Maybe, who knows? But yeah, it's an odd, odd, Odd response from him. Really, really strange response. Maybe maybe there's something there. I'm not too sure what's there, but maybe there is something there that made him want to do that. Um but yeah. Oh, can I can, let's play this before I leave. This is a good one. Grandma never met him. Have you guys seen this? Brendan's applying decals, right? Or fucking you know, basically a sticker to his car. But yeah, he's wearing mechanic gloves. He's wearing workman's gloves when he's doing it. So this is his caption. This is the caption. It says, I read to put my application into the boys at Donut Media. I'm read. It should be I'm ready to put my application into. But it's still, it should be maybe I'm ready to put my application in um, to the boys. Over, it's like into the boys. Into the boys. Like whatever. The grandma's all over the place. But it's funny that he's wearing gloves when he's taking off this fucking label on his, on his truck and putting a new one. Just watch this. I'm not going to play the music because I think the music's copyrighted. Yeah. Let's take off the music. He's taking off the decals and the thing, right? And he puts on gloves. Watch. 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 <laughs> Just watch this. Watch this, please. He puts on <laughs> gloves. He's acting like as if he's getting underneath the truck to change fucking, you know, he's taking out the engine. He's fucking, you know, fixing the axle or something changing the exhaust like why are you wearing gloves bro you don't need gloves to take that shit off like sh surely after all those years of bjj and stuff and fighting your hand should be callous has should, should have calluses that you should be okay to lift up this little label on the car come on bro he's lifting it up there and then of course he shows the camera oh look what i did using the gloves to, st <laughs> to spray <laughs> honestly man why why is this content you put up on fucking you take, like honestly this is some this is basic shit you should be doing without even putting up on content i love how he took off the thing but didn't show you when he glued it you know it just turned up glue like his ability to not make content the the lack of story telling or storyboarding on his thing is funny you went through that entire process of showing us how you took off the other sticker thing on your thing right and you wanted it blacked out and then you don't show us when you glue how you lined up and glued it it just you took off some of the excess the glue that's left over and then suddenly the next slide the, the thing is on <laughs> there's no lining it up no nothing it's just the, you see it straight away like that honestly bro one of some of the worst bits of content you're ever gonna see in it ever in a million years it really is diabolical diabolical um we did that we did this um oh yeah let's let's play this one this was a good one Bapper explains to elon musk how to run his truck business this is from i think the previous episode right let's see what he says here what is it with also i've seen this phenomenon online what is it with people who are legitimate redax why do they have such joy or such glee in their voice when they want to point out and call out elon musk I know he's annoying. I know he's kind of got under people's skin lately. And he's, you know, he's done some uh, unpleasant things as of late, which have maybe sold his reputation. But it seems like Redax love, cr like, pointing out Elon's faux pas or shortcomings. 
I don't know what it is. I, I think of somebody like a Wings of Redemption, for example. Wings of Redemption loves to talk about Elon Musk, like, oh, how he doesn't know this, how EBs aren't that great, how this is that. It's like, okay, we get it, but you're like a literal buffoon compared to him. I wonder why, like, Redax love to talk about Elon in this way. It's really strange. But anyway, let's play it. I didn't get to that point in the pod. Oh, yeah. He's still talking about the fight with Zuckerberg. He says he's you still down it. to do it. No, no, no. Hey, Elon, work on the trucks. The, the the production of those trucks is not going great. It, work on that, dude. Work on that <laughs> and uh, sardine pizza. <laughs> Honestly, I love it. I love it. Like, the guy that is, like, handed everything on a silver platter has found a way to fuck up every single, solu every single you know, opportunity he's been given in a real in a in a world record time in in world class fashion is now telling one of the smartest men in the world or somebody a super accomplished just not smartest men forget the smartest thing somebody way more accomplished than him how to run his business like and 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 also like the little tidbit there of like the manufacturing for the cyber truck as if like that's a little signal to let people know that you know your shit it's like everybody knows the cyber truck is delayed everybody and their mum knows it's delayed you know what I mean? It's, you don't know any special information because you're letting that little bit slide in there. That's really funny. Just quit <laughs> fucking around with Mark. I didn't get to that point in the pod. Oh, yeah. He's still talking about the fight with Zuckerberg. He says he's you gotta still drop down it. to do it. No, no, no. no. Hey, Elon, work on the trucks. The, the, the production of those trucks is not going great. It, work on that, dude. Work on that and uh, sardine pizza. Just quit <laughs> fucking around with Mark. I didn't get to that. Okay, fair play. He doesn't think he should talk to him about anything. Okie dokie. 